Chang Hui Lin's whole face was badly scarred when a stranger threw acid at him right outside his house. It was a case of mistaken identity. I ran as fast as I could with my eyes closed, but I felt as if my face was melting. I was trying to open the door. I opened my eyes and they were blinded by the chemical right away. I was thinking, oh my God, why would this happen to me? He'd been making a good living in Taiwan's booming computer industry, but he hasn't been able to work at all in the years since the attack. Pioneering Taiwan transplant surgeon Ray Chai is his best and last hope. Dr. Chai has developed a way of growing healthy new eye tissue to replace the burned cells. So our success rate almost 100%. Since we can grow and then transplant, the success rate is wonderful. Taipei's Changgung Memorial Hospital. It's the last resort for many Taiwanese people blinded by chemicals. A former factory worker, a betel nut vendor from the countryside, and a suburban housewife. Three people from different walks of life who share the same horrifying experience. Li Li Chen was blinded in one eye by the chemicals she was using to make betel nut. Chewing betel nut is popular in Taiwan. Stores like this one dot the landscape. Betel nut is a mild stimulant, usually prepared and sold to passing motorists from roadside stores. Like this betel nut vendor, Li Li Chin was using the chemical lime to prepare the betel nut. She was just 21 when some of the caustic chemical got into her eye. I rushed to the big hospital. The doctors there were saying that I should have my eye removed, but I didn't agree. I thought, I'm too young to lose my eye. The chemical had burned through Li Chin's cornea, the clear window that covers the front of the eye. The affected eye looked OK, but it couldn't see. Both of Wu Chunning's corneas were damaged. Four years ago, a family dispute over the custody of a child ended very badly. A relative threw hydrochloric acid in Chunning's face. The attack left her blind in both eyes. I considered suicide in those days. I had become a burden for the family. I couldn't go to work, I couldn't make any money. And what made it even worse was how much my medical treatment was costing the family. Each woman had suffered different degrees of blindness, but neither expected to live a productive, independent life ever again. I went to see 20 or 30 doctors. I was desperate. I went to Western doctors, to traditional Chinese doctors, even to quacks promising an easy cure. Lin Tai Sun was one of Dr. Chai's first patients and one of his biggest success stories. Very <laughs> happy. He lost his sight 10 years ago, working in a factory when caustic chemicals splashed into his eyes. At first I thought I'd never see again, but Dr. Chai was very interested in my case. And he's such a good doctor. He's done so many years of experimental research. Dr. Chai has perfected a new technique for growing replacement eye cells, a cure for many types of chemical blindness. Today, Chang Wei Lin goes in for surgery. Dr. Chai will remove the burned scar tissue from the front of his eye. Many of Dr. Chai's patients can't have conventional cornea transplants because the chemicals have burnt their limbus, the circle of cells where the cornea meets the white of the eye. Those cells, called epithelial stem cells, play a vital role. They keep the cornea healthy and clear. The replacement cells will be grown in the lab from a donor's eye tissue using amniotic membrane. That's the thin sac that surrounds babies inside the womb. In two to three weeks, the cells will multiply into a sheet three centimeters across. The replacement cells are then transplanted back onto the eye and the patient can see. Dr. David Marr is an ocular surgeon. He works alongside Dr. Chai in the operating room. We know that the uh, tissue engineering is a uh, very popular issue for the new millennium. So I think this is a very important step. Mr. Lin lost his license when he lost his sight. Today, he's back in the driver's seat. 
I feel truly blessed. I lost my sight working in the chemical industry, but it's not unusual to damage your eyes in that business. I feel Dr. Chai has made me a living example to others, other blind workers whose eyesight can now be restored. Wu Chaneng has one last operation to go, but 50% of her eyesight has already been restored. And today she can help her daughter with her homework. Li Qin's also waiting for her final operation, the one Dr. Chai expects will completely restore her vision. Already she can look after herself and her baby son. Chang Wei Lin goes under the knife in a couple of weeks, as soon as Dr. Chai's lab has grown enough new cells to replace his scarred ones. He's hopeful he too will be one of Dr. Chai's dramatic success stories. With some of my eyesight back, I have the courage to face up to challenges. I know there are still difficulties to come, but I'm determined to see this through. All of Dr. Chai's patients have reason to be thankful for his cutting-edge transplant technique that reversed the effects of chemical burning and saved them from a life of blindness.